This is Visionathon. Visionathon. You know, we have extraordinary teachers on our radio, uh, great friends of the ministry, and I'm actually really, really excited to welcome one of our best friends of the ministry, and that is the wonderful Bernie Diamond, great friend of the ministry, and ours. So, welcome, Bernie. It's great to be here, Mel. How are you? Really good, but it's Mandy. <laughs> Because <laughs> oh, we're it's such him. good friends. <laughs> I, can tell you, this I, is... I knew, I knew, I knew that you were called Mandy. I was just, I'm getting <laughs> old. I mean, come on. Uh, uh, no? Did anybody spot the I deliberate had mistake? I on my mind from the last half hour. <laughs> oh, hey, Bernie, you've been doing this so long that uh, you know you might be getting a little older now. But uh, when people hear you on the radio, you're still young male. and we're very sprightly. <laughs> Hey, I'm still young and sprightly. Hey, you can only use sprightly about someone who's old, right? So I don't do sprightly. I'll, I'll race you up three flights of stairs any day, Neil. <laughs> you probably win. Hey, Bernie, we were listening to uh, Mel, and she was just so beautifully reflecting and, you know, quite courageously, uh, her own yeah. past, uh, she'd spent some time behind bars. Uh, and you've got lots of stories too of people who are listening to you, not only here in Australia but around the world, but people listening everywhere, even in jail. Yeah, even in jail. It was really interesting. Uh, a few years ago, I received an, a letter and a donation from a man who said, look, years ago, I was a prison inmate. And at the time, I heard you on radio and you wrote to me and you blessed me with a parcel of booklets and CDs. And uh, I offered to visit him, but he didn't want a visit because it was a horrible place. He then goes on to say, hey, those booklets, every time I got moved to a different area in the prison or a different prison, I shared them with people. I shared the CDs with people, as many men as I possibly could. And, um, hey, it made a huge impact on my life. And he just was writing to say thank you very much all these years later for the kindness and the blessing of the gift. Um, so, you know, when you sow seed into a Christian ministry like Vision Christian Radio, you have no idea what the impact is going to be next Thursday, next year, next month, or a decade down the track. It's all about seeing the lives of people changed as we share the good news of Jesus with them. Amen. You know, Bernie, when you say those words, sowing seed, uh, it's one of those central core values that we have as believers of what we are called to do. We can do that in our own local community, with our families, within our local schools. But here's the opportunity to sow seed that reaches all the corners of Australia. Give us your encouragement here for listeners uh, to sow some seed right now. You might sit at home or in your car and you're listening day in, day out, day in, day out not realising there's a bunch of people there who do a fantastic job, who work hard, and it costs a lot of money to keep um, a radio station like uh, Vision Christian Radio on air. So I want to encourage you today to sow some seed. You can be part of getting us to $70,000 in these next 15 minutes, right, to sow some seed to change lives from now for 10 years, in fact, to change lives for all eternity. Make your one-time donation or commit to ongoing monthly support quick and easy at vision.org.au on the phone at 1800 316 316 or click donate in the free Vision Christian Media app. Together, Together. we can help Australia look to God daily.